Welcome to my channel Daily Bulletin News. Days of Our Lives Preview As Abigail's resurrection mystery deepens, Anna Lynn McCord promises, we will find out the truth. Well, it took some time after Julie and Chad found that initial video on Days of Our Lives, but we're finally getting to the bottom of Abigail's resurrection. It's been over a month since that flash drive breakthrough and honestly, we were starting to despair that Chad would ever find the woman on the video. But he and Jack tracked her down to Clyde's hometown in Poplar Bluff and found someone. Who she is is not clear right now, and it may not be for some time. What we do know is that they tracked down Annalene McCord's mystery woman. That's how the actress described her first appearance when Soaps.com spoke with her. But clearly there's a whole lot more to the character. Chad and Jack went looking for Abigail, hoping that the mystery woman on the video is her. Instead, they've found a woman who doesn't look like her or act like her. But she does have Abigail's bracelet and everything she told her rescuers about Clyde, Goldman, her accident and memory loss lines up with Abigail's supposed death. But does it line up a little too well? As McCord puts it, she's had amnesia. She's gone through a serious accident. She's had plastic surgery. She has had a whole myriad of things occur, and she is navigating a really sticky situation when you first meet her. You very quickly see that my character is under extreme duress, she concludes, adding that it's clear that trouble is afoot. And while Chad and Jack aren't certain if she is or isn't Abigail, by next Tuesday they'll be doing everything they can to jog her memory. But don't expect it to go smoothly. We saw how she balked at her rescuers. And even if she is Abigail and Chad is the love of her life, she still doesn't feel anything for him, because she doesn't know who she is. At least that's what she claims. Because if you wanted to fake someone coming back from the dead, it's awfully convenient for them to look totally different and have no memory of their life or loved ones. And if she's not Abigail, is she just an unwitting pawn of his, or is she actually in on the con? That's something Chad and Jack will be asking, right along with us. The first few days McCord teases are really just kind of figuring out who's gonna trust who. Don't worry though. While the actress isn't spilling on whether she's Abigail or not, she does acknowledge that there is one way to get to the truth. This is all leading up to a DNA test. Granted, we all know how DNA tests go in Salem, but McCord assures us we will find out the truth about this Abigail Deverock. And yes, fans may be frustrated not to have answers right away, but let's face it, soap operas hardly ever give us straight answers. As McCord puts it, her story has a bit of an ebb and flow in the beginning. Obviously it's gonna go somewhere. It's got to reach a summit or peak at some point. As much as we could play with it in the beginning, we were trying to. In the end, McCord realizes that no matter what, she's stepping into a role and a storyline that comes with a lot of expectations, and she doesn't take that responsibility lightly. I hope that the fans of Days If You Don't Love Me At Least Don't Hate Me, she shares. I'm very excited to be a part of this, I know what it's like to love a character and to have it done in a new way, and I hope that I make you guys happy at least in some capacity. Plus, she promised, there are lots of twists and turns, but then we'd expect no less from days of our lives. Please subscribe our channel.